Alrighty guys, so I wanted to take you on a short ride. This is 727 Park Place. I'm gonna take a short ride, a little tour of Port Aransas, trying to give you guys an idea of what's to come. Now we're just headed down the street here, headed towards the main area. And I'll talk a little bit about why I think Park Place, or rather this neighborhood, right? I'm not getting paid, <laughs> I'm not getting paid by these guys, so this neighborhood in general, why it's a great spot to be in. All right, so first thing to pay attention to is on the left side here, we've got this little shop that has golf carts, right? That's walking distance from the from the unit. And down this road over here is straight to the beach. That's if you wanted to get there by car. I think I got my little camera here. It's not going to be too difficult to drive and shoot. Up ahead, um, you got some other condos, beach houses, things like that, but most importantly, there's a smaller airport, municipal airport you can use. That was your prerogative. So we're gonna be heading down this way. This street here will get you pretty much to everything in Port Aransas. I would say this is the main, main road. Oh, my windshield's, <laughs> oh, my windshield's not too dirty. Over here on the left, I think you could also purchase these for, for rents. Sorry, purchase or rent these. Uh, for the longest time, they were used as a way to kind of have local workers be easily accessible. So what they've done is they've kind of given like discounted rates for people who work in the area to stay at those spots. Let me give you the right side view. We just passed by a Domino's Pizza, a little bit of a cemetery here. Now this is a yellow building on the right here. This one is a, a hidden gem. A lot of the people, a lot of these guys, they sleep on this place, but it's called the Community Theater. And, you know, believe it or not, there's actually a pretty high production quality coming out of this place. You know, it's a small town, they have a community theater, and I've seen a couple of things already, and all of them have been just absolutely excellent. So, if you're looking for something to do with family, something a little different than maybe what you're used to, that community theater, don't sleep on it. That's a great place to be at. Come on the right side, you know, you got a typical Dollar General for some quick, you know, things. Got a Sonic here. They just built this Sonic not too long ago. If you guys don't know what Sonic is, if you don't know what Sonic is from, you know, where you're from, make sure if you do go there, get that cherry limeade. Get that strawberry limeade. That's where it's at. Keep on driving here. So right over here, this is, I mean, 20 years ago, maybe even more, um, this right here was the main strip. And wow, the things really come up. Oh, hey, we're passing by it right now. Uh, this is Place right over there uh, it's on the corner it's called coffee waves don't sleep on that guys that has the best coffee in fact i might even just turn around and take take you guys there with me absolutely fantastic coffee All right avenue g this is where it's at so that under under beach goods that yellow building on the left there used to be a couple of other guys on there you can see a little blue guy a little sailor man there used to be a, i think three more of them well, I guess the hurricane may have knocked them down, but that was the original gift shop. This one over here too, Bon Jones. Let's see if I can straighten out my camera real quick for y'all. There we go. The shark entrance. Yep, there's another original one. Got golf, cor golf carts here. This little area on the right side with these golf carts. Um, it's a great place to take family. Uh, they got a couple gift shops. They have, ooh, Port Egg Pizza. Can't miss that. Make sure you check out that place. I got a pizza buffet, I think it's like six, seven bucks, all you can eat. Pretty decent pizza, pretty decent. So I'm gonna take you guys to the beach, but first we're actually gonna head towards a condo. Uh, as part of my video series of this area, guys, I'm gonna give you an idea of what staying in a condo is like and the pros and cons of that. So we're actually gonna be driving to that today. I'm gonna take a look over here. Pretty sure it's down this way over here. Sea breeze. Wow, so I don't know if you're familiar from the area, guys, but all these beach houses just popping up. The real estate here is just booming. Absolutely booming. None of these places used to exist. Not a single one of them. Um, at least the ones that we're looking at right now. The area just kind of blew up after Hurricane Harvey, I think in 2016. Uh, pretty much the entire area was just leveled. And I'm sure many of you all are familiar with beach towns. This one has its own little spice going on, Texas Beach Town. If you guys are looking for a place to stay, maybe you're looking at purchasing a vacation rental, or even if you want to live here, I know plenty, I think the population right now is two or 3,000 people. Um, this is a good spot to, to purchase in. I know I have a couple of friends who work in this area, so if you guys 
All right, looking at something, just give me a shout. I'll get you guys connected. All right, so let's keep going to the beach. And we're basically just gonna take a big old U-turn here. Now, one pro tip, guys, if you do drive to the beach, if you're if you're staying at some place that um, is not, you know, walking distance to the beach, or maybe you just want to take a bunch of stuff, right? Well, you got to make sure you get that parking permit. Last time I checked. The owners of both the condo and the beach house I'm going to be showing y'all, uh, they both include those in the rates, right? So you don't have to go out of your way and purchase them. So that, I thought that was really nice of the owners, that's for sure. And that's, that's kind of like what we've been doing for the last 20 years. I mean, man, I've been, I, I used to live here for like three or four years right out of college. And uh, even before then, we vacation. It's a good spot. All right, so we're gonna go back down here. This is Shell's. That was a restaurant with a little red roof. Um, it's a good spot. You know, the thing about this area, this island that we're living on, they have some good food and it's always actually crop, it's always like popping up, right? When I used to live here and spend a lot of time here every single summer, um, the man, the food here sucked. But it's getting better and it's gotten way, way better. You know, new things are always popping up. So if you listen to people giving you suggestions and stuff, Always take it with a grain of salt, but don't be too afraid to try new things because, you know, with every passing year, things change. I think it's coming up soon. I won't lie to y'all, it's, uh, it's been a, oh, here we go. Yeah, this is it. It's been a minute. You know, I, I have, I've been back a couple times since Hurricane Harvey. There we go. Here's the condo we're going to. But this whole area is just completely revitalized. So this right here is Sand Castle. And during Hurricane Harvey, they had a huge renovation project they had to keep up. And after it's been fixed up and renovated, it's just they just changed the whole look on it. And I used to come here when I was a kid. This is actually the first place that I used to come here. You know, I'm from Texas, I'm from Dallas. It's about a six hour drive from Dallas. And you know, my family used to take me here since I was maybe six, seven years old, every year we come by and take a look, spend some time. So right over here, we got a like a clubhouse. Um, I've seen people do weddings in there. There's also, I believe, a business center inside of there. Right next to it, they got some tennis courts, which are always really nice. We're gonna park right over here. I'll give you guys a tour of this condominium and why what makes it so special, especially if you're on the fence about um, either renting a condo or a beach house, but we'll get more into that soon. All right, guys. All right, guys, so, sorry, I burped. That was the beach house. All right, guys, so we just shot that beach house video real quick and we are on our way back home. If you guys wanna check out what that video was like, I'll make sure to put a link in the video description at the very least. Be sure to check that out because this is one of those places that I've spent, like I, I think I already said, it's been pretty much my entire childhood at, so. Uh, definitely worth the stay, in my opinion. And I know the owners, I've known them since I was maybe 10, 11 years old. Super nice people, they really take care of the units. Uh, I think they're also one of the few owners here that really... Uh, I mean, I sit in three other units here, but I'm, in my opinion, my biased opinion, of course, these guys are rock, for sure. Oh, and they also give out... <laughs> I probably shouldn't put this in the video. But they've been giving me free permit passes since I've been coming here for such a long time. And I do know that they've mentioned that they do that now with other guests. At the time of this video, it may not be in the comment description, but I'm going to make sure I leave some sort of information for you to get a hold of the owners or some sort of way for them to give you that permit pass so you don't have to go through all this trouble to do that. It saves you a lot of time so you could just be right in vacation mode. All right, so let's continue our tour. Yeah, in this place, I mean, all these homes, they've probably tripled in value. If you're, if you're thinking about real estate, that sort of deal, man, oh man, guys, this place is just completely booming. 10 something years ago, it was all empty. There was, there were maybe like two or three homes per block, and now it's like every inch has been packed and built upon. I do know a couple of people are looking at selling their place, so give me a shout. If you need any help at all, love to share the love about this beautiful town. It's it's interesting, you know, because I mean, this is gonna sound weird, guys, but you know, when people think of Texas, they have their own opinions about stuff. But I will say that in this town, for sure, there's some of the nicest people that I've ever met. And it has a lot to do with 
Now, just knowing your neighbor, the are all these are vacation homes. A lot of them are owned actually by the people living them, living there right now. Though I can't, I don't have the information, but though I can't speak to like what the occupancy is versus like tenants versus owners right now. But yeah, I, once you get to know the people here, you'll know why they live here. It's a different way of life. All right, so this time, instead of going to the beach, we're headed left. Back towards Avenue G. All right, so once more, I'm gonna show you guys Port A Pizzeria. Shout out to you guys. Only pizza buffet in town and uh, for a good price. All right, so this time we're gonna head right and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of what there is to do on that side. It's not a big island, guys. This is not a big island. You see a lot of golf carts here and there. And that's what a lot of tourists use, you know? They just take the golf car out because you can get from one end to the busy part to the other end, you know, 10, 15 minutes. All right, let's see. Now, I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, this place called Moby Dick's. It's on the right side over there, right where I pointed. They actually served some of the best burgers I've had on the island, and for a long time, the best burgers I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, across the street from this, you have Iga. This is the only grocery store on this island. Um, and so it's a smaller run place, but it does have most of the things that you're looking for. Though I will say it gets inconvenience because, well, they don't have everything. And also on top of that, you gotta pay the island tax, guys. It gets a little pricey. All right, hidden gem. I'm telling you right here, Paul's Seafood Market. We're gonna actually take a look at this place uh, a little bit later. That place has the best fresh fish you could buy on the island. Um, it's great prices, owned by a fantastic, nice couple. Um, definitely support them if you can, guys. Here and there, you'll—I mean, aside from the golf cart place, but we will see some like late nights bars and I wouldn't say nightclubs. That's not really the vibe here, though. I think there's oh yeah, actually, we just passed it. There's a dance club right right next to us. This is called the Shops of Old Town. It used to be the Pelican Landing Restaurant, um, but it's been turned into like this little little shopping area. Tortuga's Saltwater Grill, fantastic place to go eat. It's more of like a higher end, I'd say. Uh, one of my favorite places to go. Um, and here up ahead is what we consider to be Restaurant Row. Some of you guys have that in your city, in your town. Basically, it's like an area where all the restaurants are kind of congregated at. I'm gonna go ahead and step into here. So Restaurant Row up ahead is Virginia's, the little green spot up ahead. To the left of that right there is Trout Street Bar and Grill. Next to it, we have Fisherman's Wharf. I'm getting a little closer for you guys. And to the right, we have Grumble's Seafood Company and Bernie's. Been to all these places. Grumble's, I think, is the newer spot. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. And you also see, I don't know if you could tell from my video, but you'll see some boats back there. A lot of these places, guys, they catch their fish day of, and they fire that thing. Give you some fresh fish from the island. Uh, good prices, good flavors, very fresh, quite delicious. Uh, and this is knocking, and when I say this, this is not knocking their, their cooks, their chefs, or whatever. But, but, you know, a lot of these places are kind of simple, you know? If you're looking for a no-frills, sort of seafood, fresh seafood restaurant, it's the place to be for sure. If you're looking for something a bit more fine dining, I would check out Tarpon, you know, that place we just passed by, uh, Tortuga. That's more fine dining. And there's also another place on the left here called Roosevelt's at the Tarpon Inn, excuse me. So Tortuga Seafood Grill, Saltwater Grill, that's a little higher end. And then we have um, Roosevelt at the Tarpon Inn. That's another fine dining restaurant. It's kind of funny. We're about to pass it, guys. Uh, looks like it's a normal like beach hotel right over here. Um, but sure enough, fine dining is inside. All right, so we're gonna continue on. Uh, this is away from the city center, so we're actually gonna be passing by some suburbs, things like that. Um, if you ever thought about purchasing a place, this is kind of like what you'd expect. Oh, those are just mobile homes, so don't mind them. Here's a very popular OG beach house style, this little dome thing. They used to have them all over the island, all over the island, but that hurricane really just completely leveled this place. It was so sad. That and the Horizon oil spill really did a number on this place and the, and the residents here, but they bounced back. Now look at these beautiful homes. I'm not going too fast for you guys. Aside from things to do, so I did mention the, the community theater, and that's, again, always a good time, you know, for the friends, friends and family. Um, we're gonna pass by City Hall. I'll tell you about a bit about that. They do have a couple of aquar aquariums here, I think two. The University of Texas has a uh, marine biology branch here. 
And for those of you who don't know, that's a pretty big school in Texas, one of the top state universities uh, in the South. So they have a branch here, so you get uh, you know some really cool exhibits sometimes. That's a beautiful house, guys. Wow, look at that. Man, something else. It's like three three homes in one. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's uh, zoned like that, you know, three units in one. Let's go take a ride over here. Check out more of the homes for sale. That's the thing too, is that like, you know, you gotta be in contact with someone who knows when homes are sold. Cause there's only like, I would say a hundred homes max on this island. Maybe more, maybe less, I could be wrong. But we're driving by and this is like the suburbs part, right? You're not looking at a lot of homes. There's not a whole lot here. It's pretty much jam packed. But a lot of these guys are ready to move. You gotta find someone who give you the heads up when that happens, you know? I mean, you could pay you know, top dollar for a brand new construction home, or you could find a place that, you know, maybe the owner's looking to retire somewhere else. Maybe they're looking for a change of scenery, because I know I've been here since I was 10, 11 years old. I mean, it doesn't get, I'm not saying it gets old, but you know, life. It used to be a gas station. I remember that place. All right, so we're gonna head a little bit further north. I'm gonna drive you guys uh, to where the ferry is. Now, interesting thing about the ferry, it actually runs 24 hours, seven days a week. And that ferry, oh my God, it is invaluable. Absolutely invaluable. It basically saves you about an hour's drive. Uh, otherwise, you'd have to go along this really long bridge from Corpus Christi. And that's not a problem, especially if you're trying to get to like, you know, more city life. Corpus is great in its own way, but this just kind of like gives you so much time. This is Oceans of Seafood. I think they changed the name, but that place serves a lot of, has a lot of bait, fresh fish as well. This is kind of like the hotel area. A lot of condos and apartments here. To the right, we got deep sea fishing from Dolphin Dock. Cool place. But my favorite is up ahead. These guys do it right. I've had a lot of memories at this next place I'm about to show y'all. So this place is called Deep Sea Headquarters. It's just they're right here. Next to Finns. I've never been to Finns before, um, but Deep Sea Headquarters is where you go if you're looking to do some fishing. Some, let's see, can I? Yeah, just make it yourself so over here, where that white truck's coming from, that's where you would go if you're um, thinking about taking the ferry. Oh, you know what, I take that back. My apologies, guys. It's been a while since I've been here. So this right here, I think it's called Robert, Robert Pier. You can see there's a guy over there fishing. It's a bunch of people, oh yeah, Robert's Points. There we go, Robert's Point. We're gonna take a look. If I spent most of my childhood, let's say half my childhood over at the condo or at that beach house we rent from those owners, uh, the other half was right on this pier over here, guys. And this is, I mean, it's pretty popular. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a lot of boats over here. Um, it's definitely popular, but man, this thing has been here. This actually survived the hurricane. And if there's one place to catch fish, you know, spend some time with your family, your son, your daughter, Kind of pass along that fishing knowledge this is the place to go you know and what's great about it is that you know if you have family members who aren't really into fishing and we all got them right you could actually just have them hang out at this park nearby and i'm going to show you that park in just a second you know i'm driving by and okay i'm driving by right now sorry that's my phone i'm about to mute that phone real quick driving by and it looks like oh man all right well i take it back you know they had a pier here right where that thing is at it looks like they're doing some improvements to the to the park here. Yeah, that pier used to be right there. What does it say? It says Roberts Point Park, Charlie's Pasture, Piers Construction, Hurricane Harvey Repairs. I see. So that used to be the the pier right over there. It looks like they're fixing it up. So that could be a good thing, guys. Stay tuned for that. Right now, everyone's fishing off that little little uh, place over there. I guess it's still good fishing. That's for sure. There's that park I was talking about. It's a lot of fun for the family. They got grills out there. They got a volleyball courts. I know you're not giving a good view, guys. I apologize about that. Hopefully you could hear me okay as well. I'm trying to make this as easy and best as possible for you. So my apologies. Get you back in the front seat. Get you in that passenger seat. There we go. Oops. There we go. All right, so those are the ferries right there. Where I'm pointing at. You see those cars? I don't know if you can tell. They're leaving the ferry right now. Basically, you just, I'll show you where you guys go to get in on there. Um, and that's where they let them off. But super easy. They got they got really well-trained 
and I'm so thankful for them. I really am. Because these guys, like I said, 24 hours, seven days a week, cold, rain, doesn't matter what it is. They're out there and they're doing their job, which is fantastic. Those guys will direct you how to get there. And basically the way it works is they direct you onto that ferry, right? You just wait in line. Some guy will point to you and tell you where to go. After you get there on the boat, you turn off your car. Right? You put your car in park, you turn off your car, take the keys out of the ignition. You know, that's that's the rules. All right, so here we go. Now we're going right from the ferry park. Oh, I almost missed it. Right over here, guys. That's City Hall. Now, why is City Hall important? Christmas time. Thanksgiving, too. They have these... Uh, they have a... <laughs> they got Santa coming out, man. Not, not for Thanksgiving, but on Christmas, they got Santa coming out. You wait in line, they'll give you a, a bag of goodies for you and your kids. One year, we didn't, they didn't have a lot of money, I think. You know, it's still a small town back in the day. All they gave us is a bag of apples. Man, if I told you I was disappointed, I, would, I couldn't begin to describe it. Up ahead, you guys just got some commercial buildings, a couple offices. I like taking this route over here because, really, there's not much traffic on this side. Oops, you can't even see what I'm looking at. There's not a lot of traffic on this side. I wouldn't say there's much traffic at all, but it's definitely emptier here. So I showed you guys the condo already, and I'm going to drive us to the beach house that my family likes to go to. I don't know, there's something about loyalty and uh, knowing the efforts that the owners put in to bringing the place back up. You know, you, you practically, they're practically family. Okay, so we're back on Alistair and right over there, that's what that that guy was I was talking to you about. It's like three of them. It used to be three of them or four of them. Oh, you know what? Guys, I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see over here, but there's a green building right over there. That's Winston's Island Candy right i went there as many times as my family would allow me to it's a whole big old candy shop they have i'm not even kidding guys they got the best fudge i've ever had in my entire life i live in uh, chicago right now and i go to you know wisconsin i miss wisconsin i go to michigan here and there and they, you know apparently they're like the fudge capital but these guys they got this caramel walnut fudge that just melts in your mouth like butter it's absolutely fantastic my god all right so we had it back Back to the beach house, give you guys one little drive there. Oh, you can, again, you could take, you could take a golf cart from here to there. Um, and the, I guess the benefit of living back there, you know, where we just came from, there are more restaurants there, right? That was more the downtown area. And this is the next area that they started to develop. So you still have some restaurants that are popping up, but it's a lot newer. You know, and with newer comes, you know, with some franchises, you got Sonic, Domino's, Dollar General. They got a Whataburger around here, too. If you guys don't know what Whataburger is, you got to check that out. I'm definitely in the camp of it was better before they got, you know, before they sold the company. But one thing, they're always really nice. And I got to appreciate that. You know, good service goes really, really far. Although I hope you can kind of see what Port Aransas is kind of like. Um, you know, in my opinion, it's... It's truly a gem. You know, it's a little bit of a task to get here. You know, you could fly into Houston Airport. It's like a two and a half hour drive. You could fly to Austin Airport, about a three hour drive. You could fly into Corpus. Uh, it's about a 30 minute drive. You could rent a car there and make your way down here. But it's one of those places that just moves very, very slow. Uh, and one of the few places where you can get, can get that island life without paying out the nose. You go to Florida, you go to Clearwater, you go any over there, over there, right? Florida, it's gonna be pricey. This place, way, way cheaper. All right, so we're gonna turn left at this light over here. That's kind of closer to the beach and where that beach house is. But if you went further, if you went further, uh, you end up hitting that bridge I was talking about to get to Corpus. And that's about a 45 minute drive, I'd say. I'm gonna take you guys to the beach from the car. Well, scratch that. I'm just going to walk to the beach. How about that? I'll show you guys what that's about. So keep paying attention right over here, guys. This is the uh, the cart rental place. They got pizza. They got funnel cakes. They got all sorts of cool stuff. All right, that's what that is. The beach house is only right over here. Just the right over here. The boardwalk. And, you know, I know you guys have been on this ride with me, and I appreciate you guys being with me in this car. Um, but you'll see right off the bat, this place is... Like a little beach oasis, you know? So right over here, this greenhouse, that's the beach house we like to go to. That's Costa Vista, 727 Park Place. 
We're gonna keep on going though, and I'm gonna show you where that beach is at. So it's just a short walk, and right over here, because when you guys come and visit, if you guys do decide to stay over there, down this way, and that was this private part of private property of the boardwalk, but you could actually take that, 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 uh, that sidewalk all the way up, that'll bring you right to the beach. I'd say from the house to the beach, about a 10 minute walk. That's if you're a slow walker too. All right guys, so I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost out of juice here. I appreciate you taking your time, spending some time with me. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Just happy to share uh, what I know and what I love about this place. Uh, and I just wanna give a couple shout outs to the owners of this, these two properties. They're two different people, but you know, they're great. So take care guys.